the, the type one community is incredible. Uh, any parent that goes through this, any child goes through it, we then pass on whatever knowledge we have to the next lot that get diagnosed. And this is the sad part. It seems to be a, an increase every year, a, a small percentage, percentage increase every year of the number of people being diagnosed with type one. And we don't know what causes it. Really? Yeah. So what was happening to you before you were diagnosed? Were you just feeling very ill? Uh, it wasn't just I was feeling very ill. I was, I was, I, I was very skinny. I was throwing up and we were actually on holiday in Thailand and um, I was drinking a lot of water and my mum thought that was really normal because it's like 40 degrees in there so it's so what I would be drinking. But my mum... You can see in the photo yeah. how thin he is there. Are, yeah. So, so, so go on, yeah. Yeah, and, and um, the thing my mum noticed was the only difference is I was going up to the toilet at night and that was a signal. Um, and when we got back from Thailand, I was just looking very ill, skinny, I didn't feel well. And then they took a finger prick and my blood sugar was high and they said, she's got type one, so. I suppose there's, there's a little bit of relief in there that you've identified what it is. Yes. And, and then of course we get to the, the, the life changes you, you have to make and you've brought some kit with you. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen what, what they're using now for type one diabetes is amazing. So introduce us. Right, so. These are just demos. So this is the Dexcom G6, which manages your glucose level. Okay, now if I hold it up to the camera, we can see it. So is that, does that inject or does that just basically register what you've got? So it registers mm, the blood sugar level. So it does, it does inject, it but does. like not, but not frequently. Like you put it on yes. and it injects and then it, measure, and it measures your glucose level through continuously really for te for a full 10 days and, and you wear it in different parts of the body so you're not always injecting in the same place i usually do it on either side of the tummy yeah um and some people can do it on the arm and sometimes the leg so funny because this is the first time i've seen this and when i when i heard you were bringing your kit in i was imagining kind of a machine or at least something mm. you know the size of a phone or something this is tiny yeah. so so what does that connect to then aiden so this yeah, so it connects to your phone. Right. Yeah, and you have an app, and it, and any time, let's say you go low, which um, it, it notifies you, and and you know you know what to do. You need to eat something, or when I'm going high, it will notify me, and I, I know I'm going high, so I need to give insulin, and it's really helpful because. I used to have to finger prick all the time, and now I don't because of this app, which is really, which is it's great. Yeah, it's a lot easier. A lot. So yes, because the old in the back in the day, which is only really ten years ago, people. I mean, I've got friends who were injecting with syringes. Mm. They were having to prick their fingers and do a, a measurement. Yeah. It was it was tough, wasn't Boil it? Boil the needle tips. Yeah. You know, and the, and the equivalent of this a few years ago was a backpack. Like the kid would have to wear a backpack to school. It's a me this is so nice. Can I just have a look at your actual wristwatch here? Oh yeah. So if we, again, the camera's just over here. So if we just show, just spool through. I know it's pretty technical, but what's that telling you? So if I go to the Dexcom app. Turn to that camera there again. Yeah. yeah. That, then it sh shows me my blood sugar level, which yeah. is 9.8 yeah. and level. And, and, um, and so, you can see what's going on in your body with that. Yeah, exactly. And you can change how it's been for three hours, two hours, six hours. It's amazing. And I have yeah. the same on mine because I have a Dexcom share app. So as a parent, I can tell what his blood sugar is. Right. Which is not always a good thing because if you see <laughs> in school going 4.6, going straight down, you're going, do something, child, do something. But isn't, isn't technology amazing, audience? Yes. Yeah, isn't it incredible? incredible? And so earlier on, we were just talking about that we had croissants in, in the little <laughs> green room, famously. This, this comes up every day with these croissants. And do you think to yourself, OK, I'd like to have one, but I need to input the carbs or whatever? Yeah, so... Um, when you get type 1, you have to memorise a lot of carbs because it comes in really useful. So for the croissant, for example, it was 36 grams of carbs. For I've got it croissant. here, look, I've got, they've, they've left a croissant. <laughs> so that's 36 grams of, of carbs. Well, um, it's got a lot of chocolate on it, so yeah. it'll probably be a bit more. We had the plain one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you put that in, and then this little thing that does the injecting, does it immediately respond then? Um, so the, so, yeah, so, so to, but it's, it's the Omnipod that you actually need to, that gives the actual insulin. Yeah. This, they, they were, they, they, this helps me work with the Omnipod. So, let, so I have that, I, and, it, the Omni, and the, I give 36 grams of carbs and it recommends 2.9 units of insulin. I deliver it and, and the way I deliver it is I know my sugar levels. So 
let so if I my sugar levels was um, six point eight level, it would it would recommend a different amount of insulin yes, to let's say I was ten. I do. I completely understand. It's, it's just amazing. I mean, and, and, and Nina, you're working with a charity called JDRF. Correct, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund. And they are looking into the cure for type 1. They're looking into management for type 1. They're doing everything with the type 1 community. Um, Diabetes UK also does a lot of stuff. But the great news is that JDRF is so on the forefront. And our aim here is, is to make people aware that if their kids have certain symptoms... Go on, tell us The what three main for. symptoms are if you're thirsty, insatiably thirsty for water in particular, if you get up at night to pee, and um, if you have a huge appetite, but you're not gaining weight. Those are the three main symptoms. And then if you suffer from any of those, or if your kid's going through that, consider it could be type 1. Because we always, get to we always got told initially, it's a virus. He's just mm. got a virus. Mm. But then we were also told, well, actually, now type 1, they think, could also be virus-induced. So there's so many things going on. Yeah. But if those three symptoms really, like, it's the, the thirst is the biggest clue of the lot. You know, so if he was just drinking gallons of water okay. and it wasn't enough for him. Well, brilliant. A round of applause for Aidan here. Yeah. That's absolutely brilliant.